Morning everyone, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers. Um, as I said, you know, when news starts to leak and, you know, it gets a little bit closer and, you know, I'll start giving my opinions and what I think. Um, yeah, so it's been a while, back on the old uh, Greenway. Um, there's quite a bit of news actually. Um, I think we'll start with the kits. Um, so last night, I believe the Romford store, uh, for any of you that know that, there's a West Ham shop in Romford, um, sort of was putting the pictures up of the kit, so you would assume that it's going to come out, you know, today or tomorrow. Um, I really like it. You know, we knew that it was based on the Palad Canio kit after, you know, certain sources have confirmed that. Um, I like it. You know, the Paolo kit is one of my favourite kits anyway, so... Um, you know, it's a kit that I bought the replica of and it's a kit that I still own, you know, from when I was a kid. Um, it's a beautiful kit. I definitely will be buying that. Um, yeah, I really like it. Like the uh, like the vibe that it's got. Um, I advise anyone this year, you know, even me, you know, one of Noble's biggest critics over the years, you know, should be getting Mark Noble on the back of their shirt this year. You know, I think everyone should have that this year. Just uh, as a good farewell to him, you know. Um, but yeah, really like the kit. Fantastic. Anyway, moving on. Transfer news. Um, so it seems that um, the first deal is very, very close now. Um, a keeper that I've been banging on about, I know a lot of other West Ham channels as well have been banging on about. Listen, since the time he played us at um, the London Stadium, he was fantastic. Um, it's Alfonso Ariola. Um, real top, top goalie, you know. French, 28, you know, went to PSG. Obviously, PSG have signed Donnarumma now. You know, arguably the best goalkeeper in the world now. Um, and Donnarumma is only 22. You know, you're buying a goalkeeper that could potentially be your goalkeeper for 20 years. You know, if he goes on and has the same sort of career as someone like Gigi Buffon. Um, very happy with this signing. Um, you know, um, it is a priority. You know, some people have argued that it's not a priority. Um, but Fabianski, you know, will be 35, 36. Um, picks up quite a few injuries now. Um, I've still, I still love Fab. You know, he's still a fantastic goalie. But you know, you don't want it to become a problem next summer. You know, if you've got an opportunity to go and get a fantastic goalie, which Ariola is, um, and he potentially be a goalkeeper for the next five to six years, you've got to go out and do that. So, um, what a signing! You know, one million loan fee, um, and then potentially a fifteen million, um, you know, option to buy, which I assume, you know, barring a Roberto level performances, will definitely go through. Um, so yeah, very, very happy with that one. Um, next on the list, uh, lots of rumours about Adam Traore yesterday. Um, player I really, really like. Um, I don't like the idea of him being a striker, um, but you play him on the right wing, um, 100% I'll be all over that. I know a lot of people have been pointing out um, conversion rate, you know, he does score a lot of goals. Every time I've seen him play against West Ham, he turns up, barring that one game when we kicked, the, kicked 10 barrels out of him. Um, you just only have to look at the, you know, the goal we set up in the game we beat them. You know, we literally blasted past about eight players. Um, we lack pace in the team, um, and sometimes with pace, it's, it's not all about, you know, the final product. Sometimes it's about what they do in terms of occupying defences. Um, I think of St Maxim at Newcastle. Obviously, improved massively as a player since. But uh, when he first came over, it was more just about raw pace and terrifying. Um, I think under good coaching, um, you know, Moyes could turn Traore into a fantastic player. He's an absolute machine. And I'm telling you now, you know, if at any point we do sign him and you've got Antonio through the middle and, you know, Traore on the right side, or maybe at some point two up front, you know, if we was chasing a game, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to be a defender coming up against them two. You know, absolute bullies and pace and power. Um, not something I'd be interested in at all um, as a defender. But yeah, if West Ham have the option to sign him, you know, yeah, I'd pay 25, 30 for him. I think I would. I think I would. I know uh, a lot of West Ham fans are saying no. But, you know, so to have that frightening pace and uh, power, you know, I think you need that in football. You do. Um, and Wolves had a funny season last year, you know. Um, obviously, Jimenez got injured. Jota was sold to Liverpool. Um, so yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't read too much into last season. I really wouldn't. Um, I've liked him since his Middlesbrough days as well. He actually tore us a new one then as well. Um, what else have we got? 
Uh, so yeah, uh, Tammy Abrams. Tammy Abrams price has apparently gone down to 30, which I think is more reasonable. You know, in England, strike obviously didn't go to Euros, but um, he's a decent player, man. And uh, you know what, uh, what gets me with these deals, and it sort of leads, well, I'll do this with Jesse as well. I think that English core keeps someone like Rice happy as well. You know, if you, we go and get Lingard and Tammy, you know, you've got a real good English core there where they're mates, they get on, and maybe that will encourage Rice to stay, you know, a little bit longer. I don't think Rice goes this year anyway. Um, you know, loads of rumours that the Philippe Pound some money now, you know, the wages that we've saved there will be used for Rice, and rightly so. Uh, I think Yama Lingard will be out the door soon as well. So hopefully, you know, we can dive Rice down for a bit more money, you know, just to show that, look, mate, you deserve what you've got. You know, you've been fantastic. Arguably one of the best players at the Euros. Um, you know, putting yourself in, the, you know, as one of the best CDMs in the world during the Euros. Um, so, yeah, uh, but yeah, back to Tammy. Um, I think he'd do well for West Ham. Um, he's the sort of mould, you know, that, um, what's his name, Moisey likes, you know, strong, works hard. Um, maybe needs to be a little bit more potent with his finishing. You know, we, we see it in the West Ham game, didn't we? The West Ham Chelsea game, we see that. But, um, yeah, I'll be happy. Happy to bring him in. I'll, I'll, I would rather us go for Ings. Again, people are going to sit here and say Ings is injury prone. But um, I really like Ings as a player. Ruthless. And uh, he, would, he would really cause us, you know, loads of problems to other teams if we were to get someone like Danny Ings in. But um, yeah, I think Tammy could happen. I do, I really do. There might be some games from Chelsea where it's like, a, well, we want rice or, you know, the, or they give us the rice tax because they want rice, they'll make us pay more. Um, but we'll wait and see on that one. Um, in, in terms of Jesse, uh, apparently Ben United have set their price at 30 million. I think that's just to see what happens, really. And I, I think, I've, I've still got belief that he will sign. I think we'll get him for about 25. I think we'll meet in the middle. 25 is a great price for a player that you know is going to come in, do bits. Um, you know, we, we need players like that. You know, if we, if we genuinely have, you know, ambitions of, you know, consistently challenging for European places, I'm not saying Champions League, I'm saying Europa League, then, you know, we, we need to start building teams like this. We need to start having a plan, you know, like Leicester, so that we can start, you know, attracting. You attract players like Jesse Lingard, Tammy Abrams, and so, so you've got Adam Altroyor in as well. I don't know whether the funds will stretch that far. But then all of a sudden, you know, clubs start looking up. Think, eh, actually, they're, they're, they're quite an exciting prospect there, you know. They're doing some bits and, you know, they mean business. And it also sends a statement to Rice, doesn't it, that West Ham are not messing about this year. Um, do I trust Golden Sullivan to do that? Not really. But I do think Moyes is definitely, you know, going about it nice and quietly. You know, this new recruitment guy's come in. Um, that's how I expect to sign him by the end of next week. And I think it will be Ariola. But, um... Striker's essential, it really is. What We need to get someone in. Um, we, we can't go into a season with Antonio again, you know. We, we've done it so many times, you know, and managed to scrape it, but, you know, the Europa League games and stuff like that, we, we just can't do it. Um, there's rumours as well that Coventry, you know, will you know probably get his chance this year, you know, get a few games here and there, which would be lovely. It'd be lovely to see, you know, if we can get another youngster come in and do bits. Uh, Baptista looks amazing. As well, they need a couple of pre-season places. Um, Ashby looks good as well. Um, it's exciting, yeah. I just just get a signing done now, you know, just just to relax us a little bit, um, and then I think we'll be calm. I think if a striker comes in, we will all calm down a little bit. Obviously, there are other positions, you know, uh, Milika, Milikanovic, or however you pronounce it. Um, you know, he's heavily linked the centre back, um, which is one I do want done as well. Um, but yeah, we just just get a signing done. It will calm us all down a little bit, and then we can just you know start getting ready then for the season. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully, very very soon we'll have some news on that. Um, thanks for staying loyal, guys. Um, hit the subscribe button if you're new around here. Um, yeah, like I say, the news is going to be coming thick and fast now, so uh, videos will start getting more regular again. Um, great to see little Jake back again last night. I was watching his video. Nice to see. Um, yeah, I can't wait to start watching all the West Ham content again from everyone, you know, Hammers Chat, West Ham New, uh, West Ham Fan TV, JP, yeah, bring it on, West Ham family, coming your ways, not long to go now, have fun in the sun guys.
Bis gleich.